Hello, my name is Gianluca and I'm making this video for the only purpose of showing you my observations and uh, my, my study of uh, some of the NASA photographies uh, of Mars taken by Curiosity and especially the latest ones taken by Curiosity on the 2 February 2014. What I want to point out is that uh, I am a very skeptical in general when I saw all images and all uh, details enhanced by other people trying to, to show uh, some uh, shapes which uh, reminds animals or uh, statues or uh, other objects and I don't have found yet an image which really says me uh, hey this is a statue, this is an artificial uh, artifact because uh, when I look at these uh, the images uh, that I found and these ones for example I don't see anything else that than rocks and these rocks are all consistent with the rocks that you can find everywhere on Mars because uh, the archive of NASA is public and you can see all the images there are thousands of images um, and uh, hundreds of images of, Ma of Mars uh, as well as the, in the archives here i will give you the links and if you look at these photos you will see that uh, the rocks in mars assume really odd <laughs> and strange uh, shapes which uh, combined with our imagination can really uh, release a ton of possibilities uh, the eye the nose this looks like like it's not uh, anything like a statue but it, this looks like a rock especially if you look at an image uh, which has like uh, 100 pixels you uh, you will not see enough details because if you enhance this corner here you can create a lot with your imagination uh, i know it because as a digital expert and i work with the images every day in photoshop i know that if you um, just move a couple of pixels into an image which has a few pixels already you will mess up the image and you will create details which are not there so what i want to say is that i will observe these images today and now with very uh, with the most objective perspective that i can give for example when i look at the, uh, when i looked uh, at this image and i opened it I started to see heads everywhere but these heads are not uh, uh, really there I mean these heads are just natural stones and are consistent each other <clears throat> and are totally a natural phenomenon um, they look like heads because it's my imagination as a human being to create and to complete these, these images uh, this image and the information which are not there I will complete it with my own imagination so the reason uh, also why I'm doing this video is to share my opinions because I don't understand at this point if it's my imagination or these things are really there um, for example when I opened this image which is not very new but uh, it's an old one I found uh, um, and after looking at uh, all the images in the NASA archives I found very very strange rock formations in this point here because the rocks have 90 degrees angles and uh, uh, this is very inconsistent with the rocks in the surrounding which are uh, more, more rounded and have holes and uh, different shapes uh, while this one appears to be part of an old wall which have collapsed uh, obviously in the thousands of hundreds of years if there was a civilization there this could be a natural uh, rock formation but uh, again um, it is very unlikely i think because the angles and the shapes are 90 degrees in many of these uh, rocks that uh, made this wall and this uh, um, rock formation goes on and uh, i think this was part of a of a building or structure um, i think uh, that uh, <coughs> this quality 
is hard to decide what are these rocks and uh, so um, let's move on to another photography uh, i will show you before this one uh, so when i opened this image the first thing that i observed is that uh, these uh, plateaus are like hills okay and on top of these hills you have uh, you have rocks you have rocks which can be explained totally by natural reasons the thing i found uh, quite bizarre is that these rocks uh, looks like falling down uh, from the from the hill like uh, they were part of a structure before or of a bigger rock and then collapsed and destroyed with the time and uh, this is uh, consistent with other hills uh, in the area what is not consistent in this photo in my opinion is this uh, rock right here that i will um, highlight now for you this rock here is triangular and has like three uh, shapes around i don't know what uh, what to say about this uh, this shape beside that uh, it is uh, it is made like this it has uh, three balls which are not uh, uh, which are not holes but are embossed balls because as you can see on the top it reflects the light coming from uh, from the from the top so uh, they they are not uh, uh, holes they are embossed balls uh, inside the structure and uh, this rock is really strange and also in the front there is a there is a another rock which appears to have the same uh, uh, like a complementary shape to the one in the front as you can see i try to highlight for you what i'm seeing this shape is like a heart we can say and it, it could be the the container of the shape in the bottom but again this could be my imagination um, i don't have found anything else interesting in this photo besides this small rock in the in the background and this rock is big like uh, uh, i think uh, according to the scale was like uh, one meter and a half or something so quite big and another photo of the same uh, area taken the same day by curiosity shows that uh, the, the object is very symmetrical and has a like a, a complementary object in the front um okay enough for this picture let's go to the other one um before the, this latest one which is the, absolutely the most interesting i will show you why soon i want to show you also this photo here um on mars many rock formations uh, appears to be regular and very flat like metallic looking i think uh, as nasa explains these are all natural um, natural rocks and natural stones um but they could also be part of an ancient civilization which got destroyed by the hundreds of thousands of years and uh, these could be the only remainings um because um, it's really it's really strange to observe zooming in and out how these rocks uh, perfectly align like there was a path once here but um again this could be my imagination what is uh, very common in mars are uh, weighed rock formations this is the image original that you can download from the web website of nasa this is my enhancement with my enhancement i will i'm able to look more in detail i will give you all the images uh, enhanced in the description below so you can download and observe them observe them by yourself um let's move on another thing that i noticed that uh, just pops out from the from the photo is this object which looks like a barrel or um or a, a, a container or something with something going off but it's really strange because it's not consistent with the background um 
What is uh, really common, I was saying, uh, you in Mars are strange rock formations, which uh, like this one, for example, emerge from nothing and they have no sense. And they were probably parts of uh, structural or bigger rocks. Uh, why not? But all the rocks that we found here are uh, more or less consistent each other. Beside like this one, for example, which is very um, very cylindrical and very rounded compared to the rocks in the surrounding which have very hard edges um, in the old surroundings of this photo this, this is one of the few rocks with rounded edges and doesn't even look like a, a rock because it has a different color um, okay here uh, there is some strange things because here we have a rock formation like it is a triangle and here there is a there is a circle which suggests a, a, a cylindrical shape but it's very this is something that I have already seen in many photos in Mars and that there is another one just in this photo and is here if you look closely it is a circle and probably this is another one but it's so in perspective that, that we cannot say but these circles are very common in Mars and I think they could be natural it is possible it is, could be a meteorite going a small asteroid that they fallen down and, and left this uh, this circle um, let's go on observing this image okay what I found really interesting in this image was the right part. First of all, let me let me explain you that many rocks in uh, Mars look like uh, strange uh, strange uh, rocks or, or shapes because the quality of the photo plus the uh, the um, unusual and uh, uncommon shapes that they have suggest us. Uh, the most curious things so we have to observe the area zooming in and out regularly to understand what's really going on I think okay um, sorry e the, the area of the surroundings looks like it has been um, it has received some sort of uh, of um, cataclysm as well uh, all the other area of the planet in particular in this area there is this plateau which i find very interesting because it's made by uh, three plateaus and it goes on uh, in, in over the well, along the photo and uh, in this area here you can see that uh, the stones are particularly uh, geometrical and uh, complementary each other also uh, a common shape that I found uh, in many many photos of Mars and uh, later I will show you more is these uh, uh, um, circular parts which are uh, in probably here you cannot see very clearly but here is an edge of a circular uh, something and um, also these, uh, these rocks here appears to be part of uh, in my opinion have, uh, of an ancient uh, structure or big, bigger building because uh, if we look closely uh, you will see that uh, all these uh, details uh, reminds of uh, uh, reminds of the structure of something physical different and inconsistent from the background which uh, not necessarily mean houses churches or something uh, it can be mean anything because we don't know uh, so I see here um, um, a square shape with uh, um, some elliptical uh, and concentric circles going uh, on top of it. Sorry. Um, this is the original image of NASA. We cannot see very much from here, but once we enhance it very much, uh, maybe too much. Uh, let's look like this. When we watch this image with the more details we start to see uh, clearly that some rock formations are not totally looking consistent each other 
with the with the surroundings that's my opinion because uh, these rocks they could be natural but with this precise alignment with this precise alignment that you can find some time not always some time because here is clearly natural formation rocks because they are you can see that they don't have uh, they have geometrical shapes but they are consistent each other what i think is that here the rocks are precise and they have 90 degrees uh, 90 degrees uh, um, hints 90 degree hedges they have uh, precise cuts which look uh, geometrical also if you observe uh, the scenery the overall image this area here looks like it, there was some uh, sort of a uh, of a uh, building here with the stones uh, still standing on and the the remaining of the building uh, fall down and the debris fall down in in fact if you look closely all these stones look uh, the same uh, shapes uh, there are many 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 triangular uh, shaped stones just in this point and many mini cubic stones just in this point one two three four five six seven eight triangular shapes so, uh, this is um, a normal uh, a normal thing i don't know because in the other surroundings there are not so many triangular and uh, cubic stones it's just not consistent it's just here falling down from here so uh, just observe observing these photos tells me that here there was something which are which is not consistent with the background i'm just telling this i'm not saying that there are aliens it's not just consistent Again, this is uh, another rock formation which is really curious because it, it reminds of a part of a of a stair or um, part of a of a of a structure which allows you to to or probably is a statue or something or maybe it's my imagination. I don't know. I don't know, but it is. It's really strange because all these details look uh, uh, like a structure let's move on to the next photo the next photo here is the most interesting of every of, of uh, everyone taken now until now and the reason i think so is because uh, it's uh, uh, huge quality so we can really see many details i spent hours looking at this image and i still think there are many details to look at okay let's start with the the left part of the um, of the photo the left part of the photo present uh, uh, first of all this is called the this is called the uh wait a sec, dingo gap is about three feet one meter high in the middle and tapered at south and north and also onto low scarps on either side of the gap okay um i've read this description and it does not speak about anything of what i'm going to speak about uh, now what i want to make you notice is that in this area there are um there are uh, first of all this is the original photo okay this is the original photo of nasa and this is my enhancement my enhancement allows you to look also in the shadows with my enhancement we will go on observing this photo and uh, when uh, when you observe this photo you will notice that there are some big huge stones blue ones uh, blue grayish okay and these blue stones are only here and uh, part of the cliff here and near the other um, plateau here and near this plateau here so these rocks are mainly near falling down the hills of the plateaus 
so here there was a plateau and here the, the rocks falling down like in the first image that we look at um, very similar we have these plateaus with rocks falling down from it um, in this uh, plateau on the left I I initially didn't notice anything I, I just thought these were natural rocks but when I zoomed in and continually looking at them I started to notice that uh, these shapes could have uh, um, could have uh, been part of a, of a unique structure the reason I think so is because they have uh, they have shapes which are not uh, very similar to the rocks behind and sometimes they are very strange like this one as a circle it's in perspective but I hope you can see it this one has a circle on top and as a V here and then as a as a like a circle here like the column of the of the Romans and okay imagine it it was this was in my opinion a cylindrical shape uh, like a column or something and also these parts here have very geometrical shapes and also this one here looks like it was a some sort of column which got destroyed but maybe it's my imagination or just it's a randomly that shape and it's natural but all the other rocks uh, have just some reminiscence of geometrical shapes that are so suspicious because um, because they are uh, they look artificial they they don't have nature usually it makes uh, the same things is consistent sometimes humans is not so you can see it from the surroundings of this debris and uh, i think uh, that some rocks are really part of a bigger geometrical shapes and uh, also what i found uh, interesting in this side of the image is uh, um, is uh, this object here which enhanced look like this and uh, this is the original photo this is enhanced and uh, i think that the color of this object is different from the color of the sand and the color of the other object uh, surrounding if you look closely it's like a golden it looks like made of gold so and it's also very regular in shape this can suggest uh, that it was contained by the the the, uh, the rocks surrounding it if you look closely this rock has a cylindrical hole which is complementary to the side of this and also this object here is not a rock because behind we have the rock which has uh, ironically a similar shape and it looks totally different and so we have the comparison here between the rock and another object and this is I think an object which contains the side of this golden object but this could be my imagination in this side I found this which could be an, uh, an image artifact an image artifact is when something goes wrong in the camera and shows something that shouldn't be there and um, let's go on these rocks that you can see here with the stripes and very regular angles and shapes these are totally natural rocks and are explained uh, in the NASA's website again uh, this is their explanation um, I think uh, that it, it is also possible that part of these rocks were used as structural parts for the buildings but I don't really know um, moving on to to the image let's observe what we can see um, i found out that there are some rocks which appears to be inconsistent with the background for example these ones these ones here without and with an instrument are different in color and shapes with the with the surroundings and looks like designing circular uh, shapes or something like I don't know different from the surroundings and also these rocks which are falling down from this cliff here appears to be very geometrical shaped 
and a very precisely 90 degrees cubes um, also here uh, when you when you lose time watching at the details you will see many 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 uh, rocks have uh, uh, the same angles and complementary shapes which is very curious either natural or artificial I think it's extraordinary uh, rock uh, formations um, let's move on to the other, other parts of the photo again what I see in the foreground is another circles like the ones we saw in the in the previous photo so again this could could have been a meteorite falling and forming these uh, rocks formations on the edges it's very curious and very fascinating um, uh, let's move on to the picture and uh, what I observed in this picture is that these rocks uh, in probably does not appear like this in real life I mean if we could go to Mars and watch this uh, this uh, area here scenery we could see probably a very uh, red uh, sand and a very bluish uh, uh, bluish stones these stones are actually blue i think and uh, uh, enhancing the, the the image we can see that they are very bright and shiny uh, which suggests uh, chromic uh, chromic um, material like uh, me metal um, I don't want to say that these are made by metal by any mean but I, I think that these rocks are very uh, different from the the rocks of the surroundings which are striped and uh, they these rocks appear to to be uh, brought here in my opinion um, moving on moving on observing the details on on this image i have noticed that all these rocks sometimes have uh, 90 degrees and uh, very precise geometric shapes uh, this could be a natural phenomenon but with my i don't know if it's my imagination but when i observe here these rocks and when I imagine this part combined with this part combined with this part with this one and with this one for example I will enhance them for you we have to imagine this place has seen terrible cataclysm and destructions but when we we observe the destruction we could see signs of a civilization because when we join the pictures and the stones this could be part of a, a unique structure a unique builds big structure that was on top of the plateau on top of the hill and uh, all these parts here were part of the same uh, uh, structure and building as we can see here this part is very consistent with this one and also enhancing the image uh, some part come out like very square very geometric precise and um, some part are very curious because for example this flat area with this edge and these angles so precise it could be natural but reminds a lot of something structural something which could have matched other shapes in the foreground like for example if we look closely this, uh, this is uh, like a part of a wall maybe or something else um, I don't know if it's my imagination but uh, some of the of these rocks present signs of uh, uh, artificial uh, manufacturing in my opinion and uh, I think that with the erosion and the destructions that they are receiving they look like natural but they once were structural buildings also moving on to some other interesting details here there is a rock which comes from uh, the sand which looks like a head it could be my imagination 
but this this part here looks like the body of a bird without the head this is the head <laughs> if i take the head and i place it on the bird <clears throat> i'm doing this live now it is just a basic uh, photo manipulation but i'm not uh, tricking the image and i've not modified the image in any way these images are all original images public by nasa and you can find them they are public and if you look closely if you take the head that it's here and you place it here you you may have something realistic imagine the light now is wrong it should go on the top of the duck or something like a bird and also this object here is very cylindrical and it is uh, very similar to the one in the front which has a hole which has a hole in the front okay this head could match the object which is here they they really you look like complementary in my opinion as well as many other objects like this one is complementary to this one in my opinion and the other ones that we see pre previously let's move on to this picture because it has a lot more to show um, let's move on the right on the right on the extreme right of the picture you will see uh, that the rocks assume sometimes very strange and misleading shapes this could be a rock but this could be a rock which was part of a of a structural building and has been destroyed also by the time and it had a shape which is which cannot even be imagined by us so when we look at uh, these uh, photos we just uh, in my opinion need to use the criteria of the consistency because nature nature is always the same uh, i mean if make a plant of a species it will make it always the same um, always looking the same while humans tend to be uh, inconsistent sometimes and make different shapes mixing materials and you you will note this in this photo because some some natural uh, some rocks this is the original photo in this moment some rocks appears to have um, appears to have art artificial elaborations uh, like this one for example in my opinion is a very different material with the uh, three holes like uh, I don't know how to call this but it's like triangular shape with three holes and it's uh, laying on this rock which has a uh, part of a of a curve here and uh, it, it has uh, many 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 geometrical uh, geometrical uh, uh, references which uh, does not appear to be uh, very similar to other natural rocks that I saw but they are uh, very very uh, structural looking like this one for example or for example this one has uh, a hole in the middle or for example we continue to see holes and holes uh, uh, in the ground but we never see until now objects with holes and uh, here for example let's take a close look in this image let's uh, this is the original this is my enhancement so you will see more details here there is a hole this is a cylindrical cone shape divided in half this is another cylindrical shape cone i will enhance it now for you okay so this is one sorry this is one okay this is two this is three 
This is four. And there are others in all the pictures. Um, in this particular area, uh, also there is another one here. In this particular picture, uh, I found out only here this object, like something got destroyed here. For example, if we take this half of object, if we take it and we move it, we erase the background. I will invert his color so we can see what we are doing. I will erase the background because we don't need the background. I just want to keep the half of this object, which appears to be like a slice with a, with a hole in the center. I will keep this object and I will uh, cut it away from the background. I have it here. Okay, you can see it. And if you notice, it match exactly the shape which is lying here, like it broken and it fallen down into different directions, because this match completely. The the size of this object is a little bit bigger because it's in the foreground, so you have a big a bit more of a, of dimensional difference, but they matches perfectly and it is uh, this looks like it is a part of an older rock formation or object or artifact which was like this shape and that like uh, an angular uh, of this type okay you can see it it's uh, i will try to to show it to you in a better way probably it's my imagination that's why i'm making this video because I'm starting to see parts that connect each other. This part here. This part here looks like it's complementary. It's part of a unique piece. And uh, this part was here. I taken I took I took it from here. Okay. Also, use your imagination and try to um, imagine that this circular shape was the part of this circular shape. This circular shape just collapsed, collapsed with the time and uh, became linear, but it was maybe part of this, this rock here. Also here, there is another hole that I just see now, and it's another cylindrical shape like these ones. And uh, I don't really know what these are. These photos have been released four days ago, and uh, <clears throat> I think uh, they are very, very interesting. This photo is very interesting. Also here, there is like a, it looks like a school, but it's probably an optical illusion. One of the other most interesting aspect, because the, the, the shocking thing that I found out, uh, one of the most interesting aspect of this photo is that there are, um, <clears throat> many uh, beside the many regular rock formations and uh, not consistent each other uh, there are plateaus which appears to be artificial because in my opinion nature i mean i want to know how a plateau like this is made by nature and by a, a cataclysm because i don't understand how a pile of regular stone could form out on the bottom of a plateau forming another plateau on the top these look very very odd and uh, inconsistent with the surroundings uh, the reason i say that is because this looks like part of a structural and uh, a more complex building um, if we look closely too many 90 degrees angles too many circles um, to be completely natural again i'm not looking at i'm showing you these photos but uh, this photo now but i've looked at many 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 photos and uh, it's very difficult to find such many uh, inconsistency with the other surroundings photos these rocks appears to be very regular 
as well as this one in this small corner <sighs> okay another thing which is really shocking for me and I, I i haven't found in any other photo of mars is the hundreds of thousands of colored gems which are all surrounding this place what what are them what are these colored gems this is the original photo without my enhancement what is, and you already can see them you already can see that there are colored materials all over the place all over the place falling down from the cliff the cliff was full of these gems and stones and these, these uh, gems and stones or colored materials are falling down from the cliff I will enhance the image these colored materials I don't know what they are they are colored stones and small gems appears to be of any color yellow purple green you can see them they are everywhere let me see if there is a foreground picture more clear here for example and if you notice here there are not so I'm starting to think that this is an optical illusion or an image artifact or something because they appear to be only in the background well now as I can see them also here um, I don't know this appears to me like colored stones colored rocks colored little gems yellow purple blue violet orange red there is everything and they come down especially from this cliff they group up sometimes because there are rocks which block their fall but uh, these, these gems colored gems are not in this area here in the middle They're, they are just falling down from the cliff on the right and a bit from the cliff on the left because uh, we can see here there are some and here also it's really curious how these colored gems are concentrated just on this cliff and it's really curious to know what what they are because they are really strange let's move on now uh, on observing something that uh, was really in front of us all the time and um, when I found out it was really really weird and shocking but in this part of the image just uh, right below the, the huge stone here I can see if you lean uh, your head a bit on the right you can see that the head and the face uh, something which looks like uh, which looks like human like and um, here is uh, the the top of the forehead the the face the the line and the the eye the eyebrow the nose and it's it's particularly detailed uh, maybe it, it's uh, it's just a curious rock formation but it's very uh, reminds a lot of a statue of a face and this especially with that part of wall behind uh, it's it's very if i see this unheard i think it's from uh, egypt and uh, but it's uh, maybe it's just my you know my imagination again but this looks like an eye a nose a chin and a mouth and um, I have also prepared uh, another image where you can see it more uh, clearly now I will show you the reason why I think this is the head of a statue is because uh, it's not uh, an optical illusion like the the rock is going in the background so it looks like a face but it's not it's like exactly as it is as we see it it's flat uh, a bit it, it has uh, um, it has uh, curves and edges but it's just as we see it this object looks like this also uh, the wall behind is very similar in style um, 
but uh, the shapes and the, the curves are very different because we go from elliptical to triangular shapes to uh, parallel lines to uh, symmetrical uh, uh, a symmetrical leaf in the forehead it's very looks very artificial to me all these uh, details uh, looks very inconsistent with all the other rocks on the on the area uh, the rocks which are clearly natural because there are other rocks as we saw in this picture in this same picture that looks very different from the natural rocks on mars they look very uh, some look very uh, artificial and have uh, very architectural like shapes um, thank you for watching this video and uh, let me know your consideration because I'm very curious to know your opinion about these last images released by NASA and uh, if you agree with something I've said. Thank you very much.